what's going on? I'm Ed, he's Dave, and welcome to another episode of the Roco Bros. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on all platforms at Roco Bros. Today, we'll be reacting and reviewing to Trigun Stampede episode eight. Nine. Nine. Episode Ten? nine. It, 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 <laughs> Ten. Damn. Ten. Bro. So. Yes, episode 10. We. <laughs> hey, man. Episode 9 gave us that episode with knives. <laughs> and why this man has a million of them. And why they call him Million Knives. He's got a good point. <sighs> knives does. has a good point. He does. And see the us or them. And he's like. It's gonna be us. I'ma choose me. Even like us, uh, what's his name? Zaze, Zaze, or I don't know the bug motherfucker. That guy, he's like, oh, is it gonna be the humans or the plants? Well, what can the plants do for you? Everything. What can the humans do for you? Take everything. All right then. So this <laughs> speaks for itself. I mean, Everybody knows. Vash knows. The plants know. The worm people know. The humans even know that. <laughs> If you give us one chance to take all this shit and then drive this shit into the ground, we will do it. What are you doing? We're trying to uh, make this uh, planet hot, uh, 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 livable as fast as possible. Rev it up. You're killing them. Rev it up some more. <laughs> <laughs> more power. And then when it's turned around and fair play and knives is just murking people. Like, bro, the 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 look that, that Vash... The look that Knives gave Vash after Vash pointed that gun in his face is like, bro, how could you? With this sinful weapon, to me of all people, you, what about me? I'm trying to help us. What are you doing? I just saved you. It is like, I get it. You're a clown. You don't know no better. Uh, just give me a hundred years. You'll be here. They won't. It's fine. I got yeah, time. He's got, he's, got a long, he's got a long time. And they don't. They've got some technology on their side. How long is that technology going to be lasting? It's been about 150 years so far, and Vash still look like a young adult. There is a reason why Knives has not killed everyone yet. It seems like it would be like a fairly easy task to do, Very, with, especially with 100 years. Yeah. Who's going to stop him? Who has the capabilities? Like He's already made alliances with the original inhabitants of the planet, and he's got the power to, like, those big sandworms, like, he could... You can fuck one of them up or at least like keep at least do enough to be like, I'll stay over here. You stay over there. And we, we'll be good. He's got mercenaries. He's got followers. He's got someone who could use telekinesis. It's just, I guess what? A gun? <laughs> Bro, so, and that's the, that's the most, uh, 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 the, the most terrible part for Vash. It's like it's not even like this was like a specially made gun. This is just was a gun. Just by just by a motherfucker that died. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Nothing special. Just a hand me down from his brother that he still holds on to to this day. For what? To stay close to his brother, I guess. I guess. Or maybe one of those bullets is for his brother. He shot at his brother more times than he shot at anybody else. Yeah, it's true. I'm true, but I mean Granted, I mean, he starts shooting at everybody else, then this is just a story of, of knives and mash just murking everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, hey, that's, they that's what that's what knives wants. Yes, that's what he wants. That's what he wants. He wants to do this with his brother. It's like, me and you, we can be the best. The, the best of the best. <laughs> the best of the best of the best, sir. Yeah, sir. <laughs> Like, oh shit, they're already in July and my brother's gonna fuck them up. We start right where we left off. You know the answer to the question. Which side? My side. <laughs> yes, it's like my, it's like on my own side. Yeah, what you mean? Like, Y'all just like to put everybody like We in. are the planet. Damn, wait. How that work? <sighs> He's right. He's to use it wrong. properly, there's a certain way to use it. Damn. Damn. Just he came drive. in speaking facts. To save him. I mean, this is smart. We can try and do something. So let me ask you again, Miss Investigative Reporter Ass. Lady. 
Who I go on work down. But there's another guy. A mad scientist. <laughs> he gets to enact all his stuff too. He's like, bruh, they would never let me do this shit on the ship. You know they ain't notice they ain't answer that question. Which one's more value? You have no value to you bring. See, I mean, like you see the answer. I mean the answer is this plan. He's smart. He's like, let me just keep going. I mean, like million if he is not wanted you dead, you would be dead. What does he really want? All to die. Plans to live. Maybe I mean I'm not even sure that Bash knows, but no, he doesn't know. He just keeps asking. But I feel like Knives tells him exactly what he wants. I mean, he has... I don't think Knives has minced his words. Good God. July this is, is a freaking huge... This is a crazy. Wow. This is insane. Of course he lives there. Oh, aquatic. That it monopolizes. Lead bullets are all over the planet. Oh, they... They strike oh, that way. Who do you think stays there? Nah, this is nasty. Nah, nah, they're crime lords. Oh, it's old boy. <laughs> Sagat. No, I'm joking. I'm just... Man, he's the one from the beginning who just whipped out that rocket launcher and just shot it in the air. Nah, I thought, I, thought he, I was trying to make a joke that he looked like the guy from Street Fighter in Bison. No, he ain't big enough. No, he he not. <laughs> he over there hungry my head. No muscles. He just put the heart on your ass. Man with the golden gut. This is a nice gun. Takes one shot and you're done. He ain't do nothing. That's hilarious. That Bruh. knife stays there and he's like, <laughs> destroy this city. Knives would never. Not yet. <laughs> Oh damn! Damn! It was nice. He's in the building behind you. He did that. What? He let him shoot him. He let him shoot him. Just ate it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He just died. Damn! (laughs) How'd you know he was just gonna fire once? He probably was surprised. I mean, like, why did he even pull out the gun? Like, fire once. I expect other people to keep firing. What like, the orders were to not fire. Why? Because that's what's the orders. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, they, they got hmm. What type of human? Because you're making them more adaptable to the planet. Yeah, and he's got and he's got some technology that's keeping his himself afloat and alive. Oh, so yeah, yeah, the mad scientist. I want to create new. Oh Lord, damn, he ain't clean. You a scientist? The blood ain't even clean. <laughs> it ain't even clean off in the room, bro. I mean, yeah. um, mm-hmm, yeah. I mean, he's also kind of got a point. The way he's doing it is wrong. I mean, the people yeah. he's choosing, he should choose volunteers. Yeah, because ain't nobody, everybody has been unvolunteer. Because he doesn't have to. No, I can just heal. It's fine. I can just photosynthesize. I'll be, I'll be good. Oh, he does have the wounds oh, in this one. Good God. God. He's been through it. He has been through it. Really rough. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, in the last uh, version, it was pretty tough to look at. But I don't remember. But it's been a long time. Since. He just reached in there and took it out. He did. Oh he did. He's a, actually a G. Like, for real, for real, we be talking shit about this man, but he can tank. 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 goodness. Uh, I mean, don't push him into it. Don't push him into it. And poverty's not a reason to just experiment on people. Yeah, that's not yeah come on now. There is dried blood on a table. <laughs> he was pretty upset about that, bro. Like, I'm a decent human being. Just trying to save everyone. Hey. Did you not see this? 
fucking, they're still, they still in the, I ain't even smudge it or nothing. They still look like a leg. Yeah, knives and them don't need to eat. He's like, they don't need any of this other stuff. They that. They, they essentially just live forever, just how they are. But there needs to also be something for them to copy it with right in order for them to like, make, I don't, I don't yeah. know how that would work I don't know I mean like there's nothing that good they can, god like, what is he fuck? doing I'm just oh starting it oh my again. god never mind he got it they gotta find they got a way to do it then is that how you feel about the plants uh, is it? You're doing it for your view and what of what humans are. Then you go find a plant that's working and save that motherfucker. How about that? Yeah, do something. Yeah, I mean, he basically put his like, what you gonna do about it though? This is science. This is beyond you now. <laughs> He's at least Knives is at least trying to build the future, I guess, with plants. He's trying to build a future, yes. And if you're not completely human, you're okay, I guess. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, granted, it's like you you're sacrificed I mean, one of the twins. You mean Bash? <laughs> you mean like Tony said you got? <laughs> you didn't even you couldn't even keep it alive, child. Oh, I know who damn. I am. Don't test me like that. I know oh, who it shit. is. You can catch this nail. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like Mewtwo. Yeah. I'm the one. <laughs> Don't look at me like no. I'm weak. Yeah. It's I'm like, not did you me. ask me how I feel about this? Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. not you. You're not me. Hey. Put hey. everybody in the box. Ooh. They spin. Damn. <laughs> oh, no, a million nails. nails. Yeah. Oh no, my God! Look at those nails. Just firing arbitrarily. Oh brush. my God! Don't even care. Who Bro, no. The fact that that's all right. Not, okay, first of all, all right, no. Man. He was, he was like, oh shit! I did that. <laughs> He's like, this drink is doing wonders. <laughs> <one." laughs> oh no, liquid courage. Yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> Stay ready, so you don't have to get ready. Yeah. <laughs> nah, like I mean. They're not wrong when they talk about them. It's like y'all just, just jump conclusions and don't ask no questions. Uh, you ain't asked me how I felt. Yeah, you just think that I'm it. helpless, right? Exactly. And it's just like, and just be, and like they were recombinant beings or whatever, but they have their own feelings and thoughts too, and they might not line up with what you have thought of as a human. Mm -hmm. These poor children. Who are you talking about? Look at me. I'm balling. Oh no, she crazy. I get fed, blood thirsty. Yeah, and I get to I get to control these nails too. Bro, we got two shots, bro. LOL. <laughs> no. LOL. Hey, you don't take advantage of that. S snake out here. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Damn, I can't even Damn. stick to one person, bro. Damn. They're going hard on Did you. You find me a monster. Oh my god. Because mm. uh, it's like you're you're talking about creating them, but y'all want to terraform the entire planet. And who, if that kills the the planet worms, you could care less. You don't give a fuck as long as y'all good. I mean, oh damn, this man is really out here, though. If I'm being honest, the scientist guy is still trying to keep the planet okay and have the people be able to inhabit it. So I'm just like, I don't know. I, I'm like, the way he's going about it is wrong. But it's, he's, it's, he's it's on terrible. the right path. Because it's just like, you, you sacrifice the human life that's there to make the human life in your image. Doesn't make you better. Oh, she got oh, something she got a beef with your ass. Good God. He oh just ran God. in. I'm he like, said, I got something for you. I got something for you. Don't worry. I am the Punisher. Yeah, that's... Yep. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, goodness gracious. My brother stays here. This is me between he and I. Damn. Oh, no. That actually... That... Said that is not even going to hurt her. I'm I, not sure. He definitely could have, but it would just take her head off. Oh, my I God. 
No, oh, she's fine. Oh, she needs it. Yeah. Also, how long has she been incubating? Because it's like, it could be like hundreds of years. It could be like, you know, decades that she been like incubating in there too. I think she was out and about like a few episodes earlier. She just met, oh damn. Oh, oh man. Damn, he got, got. Oh man, no. Oh man. He put in a hell of a performance. Yeah, he did. He, my goodness. Just Yo, that's a me. big ass nail. Give me the alcohol. <laughs> yes! I don't even got no liver no more. He'd probably be like, this is the way I wanted you to go out. Full alcohol. <laughs> I don't. I don't even have to wear. <laughs> Yes, yes! No, what you mean? I'm about to die! Yeah, he did numb the pain. Me- <laughs> like. To be fair, one of them should have got got it eventually. Like, I mean, know, running around yeah. here just just <laughs> getting in situations you weren't prepared for. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. Oh my God, fucking Oreo! Yeah, he yes. really didn't want to go in there, bro. He just wanted to sit out there and, <laughs> and drink. Just drink. I don't need to know this information. Whatever. <laughs> no, I'm good. Nothing good comes of this. That's why I've been investigating. Oh, the gun. I mean, you gotta make your own decisions. This is a mirror of Vash. It is. You would think Vash would have saw that this dude had a huge nail in his gut. You think he probably would have noticed? This is just like nigga no. closed his eyes. Bye. <laughs> he probably was just like, I, I, can, I can't. Ain't nothing I can do for that. He drinks too much anyway. <laughs> and smoking up the atmosphere. Yeah. So I didn't kill him. Uh, so the man don't got no kidney, no liver, no more, bro. That's a big ass nail, my guy. <laughs> Here's a- Dude, this dude's just still playing this concerto, bro. He's gotta keep doing it too. I mean, no, yeah. he's been chilling. He's been- ass finds him in this coat, bro. This oversized coat that's really nice. And- <sighs> that's wild. That organ looks look amazing, dog. Girl, it's only two bullets up in there. You <laughs> take some Cock more bullets gun. up off him, son. Yes. Where are you going? <laughs> what floor is that taking you to? Oh, well, does she even know? Can she read? I don't know. I don't. Are yeah, you just gonna go find nine? So, so you didn't want to take this man's body and put it somewhere? Like he put y'all on this elevator to go down? He's gonna bring his dead body back up? My job was to take you to your brother and make sure you got here safely. That's what I did. Uh, I mean, because this almost low-key, like, Knives knew that he would just throw himself into situations that would likely get him killed. Like, bring my brother here in one piece, please. Yes, I'm going to make it difficult for you. But just just bring him here. Bring him here. (laughs) And he didn't have to, and Wolfwood didn't have to attack him to do it. Well, she would. Now, Bash, what are you going to do? You just gonna do talk no jutsu. That's it. And he's gonna be gonna and, call and you. How, what what time? Uh, what's the the uh, the number of time that you're confronting him this time? <laughs> right. Yeah, why are you here? The one for that one town. That one town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. Bro, he's going to hell. But you tell that to him. As this. As this. You tell that to yeah. him. <laughs> what about us? It's not pity. Damn, guilt. Yes. Wow. You don't care about these guys now. No. <laughs> what is that? <it? laughs> <laughs> Guess it was a legitimate business deal. I mean, that's kind of fair. Me, do you see? Oh, no. Okay. But you're an S, S plus individual. <laughs> <laughs> you should be using this for <laughs> me. But, yes. Is that the same doc? That's the same one. Damn. <laughs> Damn. What you want to do? Damn. Help me. Damn, that's an eye on his hand! 
Oh. What did y'all what do did to y'all him? What did y'all do to that? Oh. It, who is that? Who is that? Wanting and being able to. It's two different things. You are sick, man. <laughs> I will be the cure. Woo! Clean. That is clean. It's only because of that arm, man. Well, oh god, not that big hole. That is... No! Rebuild you? From what? He's gone. Damn. But if he wants to be independent and you step in that, come on now. It, I guess he's just saying like being able to use his his abilities in the way that he deems necessary. I mean, in in a, in a sense, like it's funny that Vash like Nas wants that connection with Vash. But, like, in order to get it, he's going about it the same way that the humans are going after the plants. If, like, we're just going to harness you and use you for your own endeavors, it's like, it doesn't matter that if you're trying to connect with him, the way that you decided to do it was to take that free will choice away from him and to rebuild him in the image that he says as correct. Well, how else is Bash going to learn? He's talked to him plainly. I mean. Plainly, he's talked to him. He's given him examples. But Vash he's, doesn't want to learn what he's trying to teach him. And that's why he's teaching him the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they use. But by going about it that way, he takes that choice away from Vash. So you're not building him in as an as a perfect independent. You're building him as an independent that well, thinks like him. Well, I think what he means, like. I, he might be have something to do with his his mindset. Yes, it's like yes, you're sick in the head because even Wolfwood, who's also human, acknowledges that there's something wrong with the way that Bash thinks. It's like I mean, yes, yeah, not really, but in in the degree and realm in which Vash is dealing with, it's like you're approaching a you're you're approaching a, a matter with dealing with humans while not looking at it objectively outside the scope of your plant being. It's like. Oh, I want to trust them, and I want to, and I want to do these things. It's like, what are you talking about, Bash? They've already shown us who they are. <laughs> like, hey. not everyone, but because he's clearly still working with the doctor, and you know, nice picks and chooses. He's got a whole fucking city, and people are still alive and thriving. So I don't think it's just like mass chaos and destruction all over the place yet. But like, you know, he still finds value or something with them, like that little girl who's like not a plant. And not a human, but like she has some type of emotional connection to knives as well. But just going and saying all that, it's like Bash just does not, it just doesn't click with him. It's like, listen, bro, sac- like, oh, I know humans all need to make sacrifices. Vash, so do you. You're not impervious. Like, if you want to be a human so bad, can acknowledge that they, that uh, something about sacrifices, but not be willing to make those same sacrifices yourself. Yes. Knives going above and beyond to try and get his brother to realize something about himself. He might not align, but at the same time, Vatch's arguments are piss poor. I mean, they are. I mean, they are. And I guess we're we're at we're at the point in the story where Vash is developing his philosophy, but he doesn't have a solution. Like he doesn't have an answer. It's like Pre-talk no jutsu, Naruto versus pain. It's like, pain straight up asked that man, what's your plan for this shit? <laughs> and he didn't have nothing to say about it. But but that's there therein lies the thing. Like not having anything to say, or like not having the solution doesn't negate the fact that like you believe something different. Your belief that there should be another way is not negated by the fact that you don't currently have a That's solution. True. So, I mean, like, in that sense, it's like Vash is still developing this. But the fact that like Vash is still developing this and people are dying as a direct result of it. Vash has had time. Now, Knives isn't going to take the time to try and figure out how to come to an agreement with the humans. 
However, Vash has the time to do that. Instead of occupying his time trying to figure out a way to bridge the gap between humans and plants and come up with a solution, while knowing that he has all these connects with individuals, whether it be the plants or the scientist people, just have an end. Like, can be a mediator between the two. Instead of playing that, hey, I can heal the plants and shit. Instead of being that individual, he decides that he's going to take this long-ass journey to July to talk to his brother about God knows what. It's like, yeah, the humans and the plants can come to, come to terms. And to your point, you don't have a solution. What the fuck have you been doing this entire time? You've had a You're not dumb, Bash. You're not dumb. It really just seems like you don't like to put in the work or the research to actually truly, truly fight, figure out how to solve the problem. You want to put the problem on someone else to try and solve. You think the biggest problem is your brother, but the biggest problem here is you not being able to recognize why you're doing the things that you're doing and the lack thereof of, okay, you ain't going to fire a bullet. You're not even offering no solutions. Not for me. It's like, because all the solutions that Bash comes with are solutions for the humans. What about us? You have not said anything, and he has not spoken in terms of the plants whatsoever, positively. Like, yeah. well, they hurt, but it's like you you don't say anything about their suffering. Yeah, and I mean, since he can bring the plants out of their self-destruct mode, like his goal is to get the plants, put them back with the humans and be like, well, then I'm going to take you out of like critical mode so that you can continue to supply power to these people. Like until you find a way where this, the exchange of energy for the sustainability of human life. And then that being treated as a regard that's more equal instead of one way, then like you're going to be still running into these same things. Like, the the frustration that we run into with Vash is that like he hasn't developed his philosophy. Like Knives has a philosophy. It might not be uh, the right philosophy, but like it is. I mean, but it's a philosophy. I don't know it because when Vash when Vash showed up, he said, "I'm here to get back the plant, return what you stole." He pretty he called his brother a robber and a thief. And Vash like, sees himself as a human, but just like what you said, he doesn't want to take like he says human makes sacrifices, but he doesn't want to personally make the sacrifices in order to be human. Like or to truly maybe be considered human. He wants to be human. He wants his he wants to be in both worlds. By by Vash saying that his brother stole the plant, that's almost a self-admission that you believe that the humans own the plants. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, so you just think that we're subservient to them and we belong to them. So much so that you came all the way here to get one of us back to take them. And he's already, you're not helping them. You're not helping them because all the plants would do out there is die alone. He at least takes the plants Puts them amongst their brothers and try is, is trying to actively figure out how to save them. Vash is like, let me go put him back in captivity real quick. He's not going to be any useful out there. But, you know, at least maybe the humans can use the last remaining energy uh, source out of there and just squeeze it out of them. Well, I mean, because it's like when he brings them out of critical mode, like. Doesn't that does it just make their critical back their power just just more stable and they can just go for another 10, 20, 30, 40 years? You, you it does, but it also alleviates their suffering. So I'm not sure that they're suffering as they're getting like life drained out of them until they're going at, into that critical mode. But like I it, it makes it, it makes sense why he employed the doctor to try and say because it's not even like Vash is not it's not even like knives is like these motherfuckers are beyond saving. No, we can transform them into something that can be, you know, beneficial to this planet. It's like, we're pretty much going to terraform your bodies. If not, make like machine, like Iron Man suits that y'all can, can like live in and be sustained. Because it's like, all right, food and water. We got to make it so y'all don't need that because this is a desert planet. So instead of terraforming the whole planet, which is a living organism, <laughs> ter terraforming it and making it so y'all can live here. We're trying to make it so everybody can live here. Now, I'm not saying that his experimentation is going using using the right means 
and to go about it. But he's on the right path. And again, you again, there's a there's ways you can do this. They're just choosing like some of the most extreme ways to do it. But Vash and Vash being the outlier is not really helping anything. Like, what does he expect to do? His top no jutsu level is that of not even a chunin. And is that of a, of a toddler? <laughs> I mean, yeah, and it's been 150 years. And it's one of those things. It's like, it's been a long time. And Vash still doesn't have his philosophy yet. And while he tries to get his philosophy, people are dying. Plants are dying. So, like, he does have to make a choice. He does have to make a decision. And Knives has said, like, well, since you won't make the decision for yourself, I'm going to make the decision for you. I used to think that killing Knives was, like, the alternative or only option for Bash or anything. But I don't even know if, that's, if, that, if that does anything. Because, inevitably, all the plants die. All the humans die, unless you have a plan. And yeah, die. so so <laughs> even though the, I mean, we've got a lot, a lot more episodes to go. So like, there's like like you know, what it sounds what it sounds like is what's needed is peace. What sounds like is about to happen is war. <laughs> 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 I don't know how you fight a million knives, but I mean, like, yeah, I mean, shit. You need you need more than you need more than six bullets, and uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we go see what Bash has in store, man. And uh, I mean, you guys, like, what? Where do you guys fall on this? Who do you think has the uh, is is righteous in this moment, or like, or has the the right philosophy? Let us know down in the comments. And until we find the answers for ourselves, man, you guys know where to find the dopest reactions right here on the Roco Bros. Again, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on all platforms at Roco Bros. And until next time, y'all.